Okay, good evening. Uh, thanks for coming to the press conference. Uh, New Zealand, Jordan, uh, New Zealand winning 95 to 87 after overtime. Freddie Ibrahim and Wassam al Sous have uh, joined us for this press conference. Uh, just re remember to keep your mobile phones on silent. And this will be in English, and then I'll ask for questions in Arabic as well after. If um, So, Freddie, uh, tough game. If you could just please give us uh, a comment. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is maybe our sixth time playing them in a year. Played them Asia Cup and twice in the qualifiers. So, yeah, maybe like the fourth time. Um, they're a great team. Um, but, I mean, we, we had it. We feel like we had it. We, we gave it our all on the court. Uh, just sad to see it go that way at the end. Okay, thank you very much. What's up? Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, first of all, I want to congrats the New Zealand team. They had a really uh, good game and uh, they won that game. And, uh, you know, I want to also congrats my guys for the effort. Uh, I think we play with a lot of effort. We're leaving the court with uh, our heads up high because we left it there. We play, you know, we play hard, we fought hard, we came back. Um, you know, in the overtime, everything can happen. And uh, unfortunately, they score first, and then, you know, they, they won the game. OK, if you have a question, raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you. Just tell us who you are and who you work for. Good evening, everybody. I'm Cesar Milanti from Europe's. I would like to ask a question to Freddy. Tonight we witnessed a legendary performance by Rondellis Jefferson. Uh, I was wondering what's like uh, sharing the court with a player like him. Thank you. I mean, uh, he's an amazing player. He, uh, since he joined us, he's slowly just been getting better and better with us. Uh, you know, he never really forced himself on us in the beginning, which is great. And to see him kind of shine here at the biggest stage is just kind of what you expect from a guy of NBA caliber. And I'm very lucky to share the court with him and be his point guard. And, you know, he's very patient with me and he gives me tips and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is a good experience for me, definitely. And he's a great person and a great player. Okay. John, did you have one? Yep. John Mugol of Radio Pilipinas Do Sports. Uh, question for coach. Have you had a chance to talk to your players right after the game? And if you did, you do mind sharing what you told them. And if you haven't, do you mind sharing what you plan to tell your players? Uh, you know, usually I keep it very short after the games because everybody's emotional. But uh, I told them one thing, you know, uh, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the way uh, we fought and how we fought back to the game. Uh, definitely, uh, we are proving to you know to everyone we, we, we belong. I know we, we lost two games, but I think <laughs> we should like we play seven out of maybe eight good quarters. You know, maybe we play bad uh, fourth quarter against Greece, and we play bad against uh, on, the, on the overtime today. Um, definitely, we have a, a lot of room to improve. Uh, we've personally, as 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 a coach and my coaching staff. We've been working for two and a half years to get to this point where we uh, make the Jordanian people believe in this team that they can compete and play as hard against top teams in the world, you know. And, and, and I feel like we start to achieve that. You know, we, we can feel now that the, the Jordanian fans are, you know, uh, uh, believing in us more and believing in this team more. And uh, because of all of these reasons, I'm, I'm so proud. And that's what I tell them always. And this is what I'm going to tell them tonight. And a question for, for Freddy. Uh, Freddy, you came into this game believing you can win over New Zealand. Uh, after this tough loss, what's going to be the mindset uh, for the team as you now get ready for Team USA? Uh, I mean, we played, as Coach said, we played good seven out of eight quarters. Like, we played Greece, who was a tough team, you know, supposed to be top five, obviously minus their best player right now. But... Uh, even though we lost right now, there's a lot of good things to take from our game. Uh, we just need to stay positive and, and build on it. Team USA is definitely going to be a tough matchup, probably the toughest in the whole World Cup, but it's obviously an experience of a lifetime, so we're just going to go and play our game and do our best. Uh, yes, in the back. 
Hello. Yes. Uh, good evening, uh, Sid Ventura from ESPN Philippines. A question for Coach Alsus: What can you say about the atmosphere in the arena? The crowd, obviously, behind uh, your team. Yeah, I think they give us they give us the push. It's uh, for us. We trust me. We always enjoy playing in uh, in, in Philippine. Um, since I was a player, and we enjoy when we come here because the people here are passionate about basketball. And today it was even more fun because they were supporting us, especially late in the game, and this gave us uh, you know an extra push and extra momentum. Uh, and you know we're 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 thankful for them, and uh, we hope that you know. In two days, they're going to come and support us. Uh, John Marcus here from Spin.ph. So, Coach, uh, in the fourth quarter, your team's offense really stepped up with 28 points. And in overtime, you were held to just two. So, was it a matter of fatigue that kicked in for your guys? Or do you think there were other aspects that also came into play? Uh, I like this question because you know what, we push hard in the fourth quarter and as you said, um, we scored 28, but I think, yes, that's take a lot from our guys, especially from our main guys, they start to, to become more tired and in a game like that, with the momentum that we had, it was so hard for me even to sub them out, you know, because I, I want to like, you know, <laughs> milk the situation. On the other hand, uh, I feel during the game, if you if you if you watch the game, whenever we have the chance to go up, we did not capitalize. We have the chance with a uh, Sammy uh, three point, and we had like uh, one time with Ronda, I think two free throws. And unfortunate, we we could not go up. We we tie the game a couple of times, but whenever we have the chance and we have the ball, we just miss the shot. But this is basketball, and we need to you know to live with it. Um, but yes, okay, Jose from Team World. Hello, Sermon Alba de Los TV from Spain. Question for both. You have it really close, the, the win after that 3 plus 1 of Ronda, but then you started the overtime with six points against you. How tough is to do with that, and how do you felt when, when you saw New Zealand coming back that, that quick and easy? Mm -hmm. as, as I said uh, the moment earlier, I think it's, uh, we had the chance, the first offense, it was a wide open shot for our best shooter. But we missed it, you know what I mean? And now they hit the first one. And as I said, uh, Freddie, uh, Dwayne, and Jefferson, they play a lot of minutes uh, today. And I think uh, the fatigue, like, uh, you know, did not give us that spirit back to, to go back to the game. Then we miss uh, a layup too. So it. Uh, it was tough. It was really tough to come back at the end. We know we did it uh, during the, the regular time, but in the overtime, it was hard to, you know, to fight back to it. Okay. Uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Neil Masoy, Manila Times. Uh, my question is to Freddie. Freddie, uh, obviously, Ron, they had a stellar game, but you did pretty well, too, 22, 9, and 4. What can you say about your performance, and how does that build your confidence? Heading into the into your next game against the U.S. Thank you. Um, I mean, def personally, you know, it's definitely going to build my confidence. Uh, I felt good in the game, for sure. Um, but it kind of means nothing without the win, you know. So I kind of wish I, I would trade my stat line for the win, and for us to push to go to either the second round or get some more wins to qualify to bigger things like the World Cup or Olympics. But, uh, I mean, hopefully, individually, I can build on this and keep playing confidently. Okay, before we get to the questions in Arabic, just one from Aman uh, Abdul Ham Hamid Adasi from Eurobasket. Do you know one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he wanted to ask you, Coach, uh, what is Jordan missing at the end of a match, at the end of the game, to win? This is the second straight game that – you perform very well, but you're just missing that victory. Um, I think we, we're missing some stuff for sure. Uh, in Jordan basketball, we're missing a lot of things. I don't think this is the time uh, to talk about it. But it, with this team, I think it's the, the experience on that, le on that level in this stage. I think this is, uh, you know, uh, um, the more you play World Cup games, the more you play on this high level, the easier it is for your guys to, to you know, to close out games, but um, 
as I said, today it was a matter of a, of a one shot. Maybe with Greece, yes, the, their experience play way much bigger role in a whole quarter. But for today's game, it was a, it was a one shot game. When it's if if you score that shot, now we're up. Now everything is, might be different, you know. So I I don't see this in every game like we're missing. It's every game is different. So, um, but I think we should keep building and keep keep staying positive as a, as a team as as the Jordanian basketball family.